105,888 watching third largest crowd in Michigan history Notre Dame has the ball trailing seven to nothing their own 20 under the new rule which allows conversation with the coach both teams he's going to see it more and more I think this year where while the Notre Dame offensive team is over talking with their coaching staff the Michigan defensive team is out on this sideline the official send that to all by themselves <laughs> now we're ready to go first down and ten of the point. Back and Bell is out around the 26 27 before Boren leads the Michigan tacklers. So that number 40 is having a day. Linebackers are, are the key to any defense. You can see him take on the blocker on this particular one and shine a number 74 is 6 8. He has to give a little ground, but he goes out and assists in the tackle. Well, look out for the option pass. Hunter puts it in the air. Mastak's back there. It's intercepted by Bostick. Bostick looked at uh, Mastak coming downfield and then turned to pick up the ball and was right in his hand. In the third quarter, Keith Jackson, Frank Broyles, and Steve Davis here at Ann Arbor, Michigan Stadium, and Steve Smith hands the ball to Butch Wolfolk. And Wolfolk penetrates it. He got just enough help over there, and he blew it out for about five yards. Now we go to New York. Wolfolk, the tailback. Great speed. Inside the 30 to 34, where Crable rolls him out of bounds. Bob Crable. City. First down for the Wolverine. And it's the tailback, Wolfolk. Bunch is a big, angular sort of a fellow, and when he gets himself moving, he didn't have all that much of a hold, but he's a hard guy to tackle low. One and he just momentumed his way right on down. Fine young man. You know, Michigan hides a ruffle, though. They've lost twice in a row now, successively, by two points. And Wolfel, Bunch with a big hole over the right side, makes it first down for Michigan at about the Irish 16. Just pure power on the right side behind Becker and Paris. Look at the blocking and watch when, uh, and take notice that when Wolford gets to the line of scrimmage, there's no defensive people there, which means that those offensive linemen have done an excellent job of getting the surge that you need in situations like this. That was Murens. Horan comes up now. He's going to blitz. And they pick him up, and the pass completes to Carter. Carter shakes one, gets away from another. Touchdown, Michigan! Great. <laughs> oh, what a play he made, Chief. And is he happy? You know, these 100 and, what, 4,000 people. Notre Dame's got about two or three here. They are excited about this Michigan team's comeback from last week. He just left, juked, and got away from John Krim on that play. Durison and Krim were both over there, and he just got loose. And here's Haji Sheik now. They fire the extra point. 6.22 to go. The ball is fumbled. Ajishik picks it up. Throws a pass. It is caught by Wolfolk. But he can't get to the end zone. And the ball got away. It's That's a bad what, snap. It was an excellent throw. First, let's give Smith some credit. Because he rifles the ball. Fires it right in there. But we all had the feeling up here, Keith, that sooner or later, John Krim would make a mistake. He's so far off of Carter that Carter has time to dodge him and just walk in for the touchdown and that's why right there it goes Jim Beckler says that this young man number one Anthony Carter 21 touchdowns in two years this is his second one today is the most explosive exciting football player in, that he has ever coached here it is again the finish and watch the tight end 88 not clip stay there and just scream and so the extra point try goes awry, though, and that might be a factor before the day's done. Now the extra point try here. Sweeney is the snapper. B.J. Dickey, the holder, wasn't even looking. No. Hit it right inside the head. Keith, I, I don't understand it because usually this, the system is that the holder tells him when to snap the ball. Something went wrong. Here's Mike Boren, number 40 again, making the play on the Notre Dame tailback, Greg Bell. What a day Boren's had. Isn't he having a great day? He's having fun out there because Notre Dame is not running anything complicated. It's just...
He crosses the line of scrimmage when he saw the crease, and he was finally able to tackle Bell for the loss. Lost back to the 17, where it is second down and 13. The ball is given off to Greg Bell, and Bell lunges up across the 20 to the 21. So they're looking at third and long. Now let's see if uh, third and long, third and eight. Blair Keel throws the pass. It is incomplete. Notre Dame trying to get the ball to Tony Hunter. Hunter was covered like a blanket by the outside linebacker Ben Needham. The crowd is roaring for the Michigan defense. And uh, Notre Dame's going to have to kick it and give Michigan field position again. You can see that uh, Michigan has the, the Hunter coming out of the backfield covered all the way as Needham on 97 makes the play. But the thing is, you cannot concede Michigan no passing and try to run against them and win the ball game. <laughs> Lawrence Ricks is the tailback now for Michigan. Stanley Edwards, the fullback, has the ball. And he moves it from the 43 up across the 45. Give it to Ricks this time. And Lawrence to midfield. So they'll look at third and two. This is, is important. And Bo is saying faster, faster, faster. <laughs> Option down the line. Smith, the quarterback. First down, Wolverines, Notre Dame, 40. If you've got to mention the crowd, the crowd has, for the Michigan fans has been sensational. They have helped this football team throughout this game. That's the tailback, Ricks. Getting outside to the 30. Smith on the option goes outside to Wolfolk. Wolfolk gets a block, gets around the corner inside the 20. He's got a Michigan first down at the Notre Dame 17. Joe Johnson brought him down with help from John Prim. But the key block was made by the tight end Norm Betts blocking out the strong safety, opening up the crease for Wolfolk to turn down the field. There's an old adage, the team that rushes for the most yardage wins in college football about 90% of the time. Lawrence Rick is a tailback, but Ricks will not get this time as Smith stays in the air, throws it, and it's almost intercepted by Stacy Torin. You've got a penalty flag thrown at the goal line. But I believe it's offensive interference. Might very well be. Notre Dame people reacting oh, that is. way now may not go that way. Good. Nope. It's against Notre Dame. Defensive pass interference in the end zone. First down on the one yard line. First. The Michigan players come up now over the ball asking the crowd to quiet down. Smith sets him up out of the eye. Ricks, touchdown! Here it is from the end zone. Look at the blocking on the left side of the line. It's second number 65. The pulling guard clears the path for him. 260 pounds. Pulling guard. He well, took Crable right out of there, didn't he? he beautiful block. And it's one look at that one. Right now, Michigan's going for two. 19 to nothing, and they want to make it 21. Want to get multiples of seven if they possibly can. Carter's in motion. Carter's got the ball. He's got an army in front of him. But man, Notre Dame throws him out of bounds. Boy, I'll tell you, that took a hard head and a square jaw to keep him from getting in. <laughs> Graham and Jurison came over and made the play, and it remains 19 to nothing. Rolling offense, run, ground game. In the fourth quarter, when you're moving the ball like this, those gains grow in size. Here goes Stanley Edwards for a first down. He was down before the ball squirted loose. Down to the Notre Dame 37. First down. <laughs> Smith gives it to Lawrence Ricks. And Ricks gets it close to the 30. Oh, they're just chopping off six, seven yards on every first down, aren't they? They certainly are. Third and a short yard. Give it to Wolfolk up the middle. 
And Butch is inside the 10, down to the 7. Make it the 6. That is acceleration. You're going to watch the blocking develop. You'll see it exactly as Wolfhawk saw the big, big hole. Watch him make 27, missing, turning right down the field, running north and south. And the big thing I noticed was he covered the football when he got in traffic. Butch has now carried 20 times for 127 yards. He had 119 last Saturday. It's first down and goal to go from the six. Smith on an option. Touchdown. Let's look at the touchdown on the option play. Number 16, he's just a sophomore. Three out of 18 last week in the loss to Wisconsin. But he's gaining confidence right here. This is why Bo says his talent is there. All he needs is some experience as he bursts into the end zone for the touchdown. Condini, the wide man out of the picture. For the Irish. Cagle getting good protection. Goes down the middle. It is picked off. Intercepted by Tony Jackson. And he brings it way back up the field. And you've got a penalty flag thrown down around the 33. He was throwing the ball for Condini. Condini was open for a moment. But the pass was late. Blocking below the knees on Michigan. Michigan will keep possession of the football, Keith. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. Well, they're whittling away on the ranks of the unbeaten. USC and Indiana were scoreless in the third quarter. Here's Smith putting it out long. It's going to be picked off, and it is. Norm Betts, the intended receiver, grabs Joe Johnson, a freshman out of Fostoria, Ohio, just as quickly as he caught the ball. But now the Irish have it first down at the Michigan 42. You can Kegel, the quarterback. Goes over the middle with it. He's got Tony Hunter wide open. And Hunter is inside the 10, down at the 6, maybe the 7. Kegel had Bush go wide open. Throws instead to Maztac. Makes the catch. Penalty flag there. Let's see about it. Interference. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Clock winding down with a minute to go. Could be Hewlett. No, it wouldn't be Hewlett. Unless he changed the shirt. Michigan starting this possession just inside the 45 and just grinding up the clock now. The executive producer of ABC Sports is Rune Arledge. Today's coverage produced here at Michigan Stadium by Chuck Howard and directed by Andy Sedaris. Our technical director is John Allen, our associate director Ben Harvey, our technical manager Bob Armbruster, our unit manager Steve Israel, assistant to producer Garland Pete, researcher Jerry Klein, and our statistician Mike Swanson. That's Brad Fisher, number 20 in the ball game. We finally found it. Brad Fisher. Well, they suited up 107. Might as well play as many as you can. Good for morale. Get them in the ball game. They can say they played against Notre Dame, even the walk on. That's right. You hear the crowd counting. Coming onto the field. The game is over. The Michigan Wolverines have defeated the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame and they have done it convincingly by a score of 25 to 7.